Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System and the word of the day is leverage. And this is my counterbalance to yesterday's word which was struggle. And the idea that we have to struggle in order to succeed, in order to go further, in order to grow. And I wanted to offer leverage as another way of doing things and another way of looking at it. That when we have leverage, when we have efficient, more efficient technology, it really is possible for us to work smarter, not harder. And often we can get a lot further when we can use leverage to our advantage. What I find fascinating is how there are places where we can be completely comfortable with this idea, where we can completely embrace a new system and look at progress as exactly that and, and just be psyched that it makes life easier. But then there are these other places where I've noticed a lot of us will get caught up in this idea that, in, that if we are doing it in this new way that we're somehow cheating or that if it's a betrayal to somebody else's hard work or effort or that somehow because we didn't put in as much effort as we would have had to with the old system that somehow we don't deserve the success as much. All of these really interesting messages about what we need to do in order to be worthy of our success. And I was thinking about this idea of leverage and the places where we are completely able to embrace it and where nobody would begrudge somebody the fact that something takes way less effort than it used to. And one example is transportation. So I was looking up how long it ta would take to travel by horse, say 15 to 20 miles. And interestingly, a 15 to 20 mile trip back on horse would have taken anywhere between two to four hours, depending on road conditions, the pace that the horse was moving, obviously the age of the horse, the health of the horse, as well as the amount of cargo that somebody was carrying, the weather, et cetera, et cetera. And so what that means is that a round trip, a round trip trip, 15 to 20 miles would have taken at minimum a half day and often could have ended up taking more like an entire day to anticipate it with eight hours round trip, which would mean downtime, resting, navigating. And so as a result, people would have had to really plan for it. They would have had to anticipate it. They would have had to think about it. And it would not be something that somebody would necessarily do quickly or on a whim. It would be something that would be planned well in advance. And chances are they probably would stay where they were going and you know do the return trip the following day or something whereas now a 15 to 20 mile trip can take anywhere between 15 minutes to a half hour and if you needed something most of the time for most people in in first world countries who have means of transportation either go and get in a car or call an Uber or get on a bus, but the transportation and getting there would take, you know, probably even with public transportation, we're probably talking like an hour max and more likely about 20 minutes to get to the destination, which means that nobody's really thinking about that taking a great deal of effort. It's just something that you do. And I, and the thing is that not only is it just something that we do, but also I don't think anybody is looking at it as a betrayal or that like we're cheating because it's not taking us an entire day the way it took our ancestors an entire day. And so I just find it fascinating how there are places where we can use leverage and we're completely comfortable with the fact that technology has really caught up with us and we are able to be far more productive. And then there are those other funny places where we really can get kind of sucked into this idea that in order to be worthy of our success, somehow we have to be making more effort. And so I just really want to offer this possibility of what if it's really about leverage, not effort, and that it's okay to look at using leverage in a new and more effective way so that it is possible for us to grow 
more and to move further. So my question to you right now is, where do you find it easy to use technology and leverage? Where do you find it easy to see how something being effective and efficient is just like going to make life easier for you? And where do you get bogged down in this? Where do you notice yourself thinking, well, if I do it that way, it's cheating, or I really need to do it in this particular way because that's the legitimate way to do it as opposed to, well, if I do it that way, I'm just hacking it or it's not gonna somehow be as valuable. So just curious, like where do you find yourself resisting leverage versus where do you find it really easy to work with it? So I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I'm wishing you peace, I'm wishing you ease, and I am wishing you the ability to see how leverage can serve you even better in your life right now. So in the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jennifer Moore, Modern Medicine Lady, and as you might imagine, I will be eternally grateful for your help to get this video out into the world. So please like it, please share it, and pass it along to other people who would find it useful. Thank you so much, and until tomorrow.